Hey, I'm Robin. Today we're fixing a Soundcraft Delta 32. This came in. The complaint is uh, two things. Several of the channels had uh, intermittence. The sound would come and go. Some of them were actually mechanically intermittent. You tap the chassis and it goes in and out. Uh, several of the other channels acted weird in the sense that uh, you can see if you rotated the gang pot up near the top of the strip, it, it sounded very noisy and then when you got to the top the channel actually cut out for a second it wasn't like a switch but it, it, it sounded like it had a lot of DC on it and acting real weird so went looking for the problems and uh, found this on the back of each strip are three jacks one of them is an insert which is a normaling type that jack uh, has some contacts on it that need to be closed for signal to pass through the strip and so uh, those insert connectors on the back of each channel need to be cleaned spray some cleaner in there and then run a plug in and out of there 25 times or so in addition uh, all, the cont all the soldered joints on the back of all three uh, jacks on the back of each strip need to be reflowed because the jacks are mounted mechanically to the chassis, every time the thing gets moved or the chassis flexes, it flexes the jacks uh, relative to the PC board a little bit, and over time it cracks those joints. So there's three joints for every jack, and you need to go over each one. That took care of the intermittent problem. Remaining uh, was the, the crazy acting gain controls. It sounded like a dirty pot, but it wasn't. What was happening is, one of the caps uh, in, in the mic preamp was leaky and it was allowing DC to be someplace where it wasn't supposed to be. And uh, so it turns out that the problem on all of the jacks or all of the channels was one of these two caps and on some of the channels it was this one, on other channels it was this one and the way to find out is to run the thing and uh, turn it on, fix it up so you can hear the main out turn the gain control back and forth and listen to the noise and then lift one side of these caps one at a time and one of them in all my channels fixed the problem or the noise went away when I lifted it and that was the cap that I had to be replaced Place. These are uh, 220 mics uh, at uh, 6.3 volts. I put in slightly higher voltage ones uh, when I replaced them. Could be it might not be a bad idea to replace both of those, but I didn't. So uh, one uh, nice thing to do is to take out the first three channel strips so that uh, you have some length here on the ribbon cable, and now you can plug the end of the ribbon cable into the strip you're working on and actually run it easily while you're working on it. I actually soldered on this and lifted the capacitor legs while this thing was powered up and while it was hooked to an amp where I could hear it. And then I put it all back together and uh, everything was fixed. I bet it's a common problem and I'll bet uh, you know if I was really doing a good job I might replace those two caps on every strip but the customer is not paying that kind of money so we're just fixing what's wrong with it but there you have it I hope that helps if you get one of these in it could be it could be common to smaller or bigger boards too uh, of the Delta series so uh, there you have it have fun thanks alright